Okay, here we are in the final level then. We've just come down the secret exit or the secret entrance into this underground cloning area. We're gonna start by pulling out a hard baller here and taking care of him before he can respond. Let's also pick up his own pistol here. Open up this chamber. Nothing of use in there. Shotgun, that's not what I need. Right, okay, here we go. We're gonna trigger a cutscene here, and uh, afterwards I'm gonna be quiet and let our Professor Altmaier speak. Okay, so Professor Altmaier is well and truly crazy. Uh, also, that first clone that got me there took almost all my health and none of my armor, so I'm having to play this cheap method here just to complete it. Ordinarily, I'd go more on the offensive, but uh, as it happens, I can just camp back here and bring down the clones one by one as they come around this corner, as long as none of them uh, smarten up and decide to take a different route. One of them seems to be like impaled to the wall there. Oh, hang on, I need to make sure my Gun is spinning up. There we go, ready to fire. You can do that if you're not sure just by a very quick click and then let go. Make sure it doesn't fire a shot and then it will keep spooling and then it's ready to fire as soon as you pull the trigger again. 750 bullets, that's way more than I need to take down these clones. The damage you can see at the top left it says releasing clone every now and again as well. Also when I came through that door from the uh, after the cutscene that introduced all those clones I took a left there and uh, that cabinet that I took the uh, bulletproof vest from is essential if you didn't take one into the level I explained why. Uh, usually 
you should be able to carry through everything you took from the previous mission. However, because this is a, a save from a previous playthrough of this game, all the things I picked up when I recorded the last level uh, got van well, basically just vanished. I didn't better my score, so to speak. So uh, it um, basically just reloaded the old save. I spent more money than I need of. Every time you spend less money, I think it makes a save. So any missions where you're carrying things from one to another, uh, you want to... Well, yeah, it will uh, make a save for whichever you spent the least amount of money in the first instance on. Uh, I think I didn't see another releasing clone there, so we might be done. All the corpses. This is where I die. I will hang back here just another second. I'm pretty sure you don't need to kill all the clones. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. In fact, yeah, I think I am. And what you do need to do, though, is take one of the corpses of these clones and bring it up to that kind of uh, barcode scanner that we saw in the cutscene. Looking at the back of Hitman's head here, I can actually see his barcode is uh, rather simple. I'm not sure that would scan. Can't hear any more steps. I think we might be clear here. Ready to fire if somebody does come round. No, I think we are done. Right. This pile of corpses here. My clone brothers. They've all got a smirk on their faces. One of the guys I killed earlier. Right. Let's head this way. Don't ask me what all that green slime coming out of the computer is. So this is the room where they all come from here. And they kind of go through the two doors interchangeably. So one will come out one side and one will go out the other side. So it's quite difficult to ambush them without kind of walking back and forwards. Okay, we are clear. Let's go back to our Uzi here. Uh, do I have an MP5? Yes, I do. Right. We've got a few more to kill. Let's get ready. Final room. You have proved to be my favorite son. I am so proud of you. You... Oh, I should have known. I didn't even recognize my own son. You, you broke my heart, my son. What good is a bullet proof vest when death strikes from within? And there we go, that's Agent 47's origin story then. Professor Ormeyer is dead, and we're finished with Hitman Codename 47, a game I began all the way back in January, but uh, I got put on the back burner just because uh, the missions after the ones I'd recorded previously uh, were some of the worst, and I was like, I could not bring myself to go through them. But uh, I was feeling in the mood for something a little bit different after a couple months of uh, real-time strategy games, and I thought I'd revisit it just to kind of tick it off my uh, list. And uh, now the question is, do I progress into more of the Hitman games? Uh, I, unless everybody suddenly takes a massive interest in this, I'm unlikely to begin Silent Assassin anytime soon. Uh, I may return to the Hitman games one day. I really like the later games, the earlier ones less so much. And I know there are kind of hardcore fans of the franchise who would swear that the second game is the best installment. Uh, I would strongly disagree with that personally. Um, but uh, yeah, we can discuss that another day. Anyway, if you are someone who subscribed more recently and you just started joining me halfway through this game, maybe you're inspired to go back and look at the earlier levels. They are some of the better ones. And uh, maybe, like I say, if people ask for it, I may well move on to uh, Silent Assassin, the second game in the franchise. And uh, that in turn will lead to some of the better ones, like Blood Money. Uh, I've never played any of the modern Hitmans. I think I'd love them. But uh, they are quite a time investment just to learn the levels, and I like to go through them. Uh, full stealth, you know, get those silent assassin ratings. I, I have no interest in playing a Hitman game unless I can master it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.